Okay, 那准备好了，我们就让 c o f o Japan 来吧。Thank you. Hi. Thank you for coming to my talk. And thank you very much for the, uh, to the community uh, for inviting me. Uh, you guys are so much inspiring me. And I will share this uh, in inspiration to uh, Japanese community right after coming back to Japan. And uh, today, I'm going to talk about the uh, uh, lessons from Code for Japan. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm Hal Seki, uh, founder uh, of and representative of Code for Japan. We are the network of the uh, people who think together and create together. Uh, the network is people. We are connecting individuals and encourage them to build their own communities. Uh, often we say that uh, Code for Japan does not solve your problem. Uh, each local community and individuals will solve the problems. That means that we organized, uh, uh, sorry, sorry uh, we helped the local community people to build some uh, their own network uh, community. The, we called them a brigade. Uh, we have currently uh, more than uh, 86 brigades, communities in Japan, like uh, Code for Sapporo, Code for Nanto, Code for Kanazawa, maybe uh, uh, you have been in some of the cities before. Uh, so the, they are totally independent communities. Uh, we have their, uh, they have their own motivations and the governances, uh, not controlled by the Code for Japan. They are all, all, uh, all, uh, the, the, all of the community are uh, have, uh, learning uh, their, uh, uh, their own uh, programs. And, but uh, Code for Japan itself is uh, helping the government and the students. Uh, for the government, uh, we uh, help the uh, capacity building of the government uh, to co collaborate with the uh, students using technologies. And, and also we, uh, we, uh, uh, and, and we uh, are helping the uh, community building for the students uh, net and network the people and share their knowledge about and, and success cases and maybe uh, failure cases. And uh, we pro uh, facilitate to uh, their project uh, making. And let me share some uh, lessons from uh, the, our activities. We started Code for Japan five, uh, six years ago, and through my many failures and learned, I found that most important things of, the, uh, of civic tech is that we shouldn't start from tech. Like an, uh, tech like uh, open data or fancy mobile apps or data visualization, uh, we should start from people, not from tech. So let me show some example by sharing two, two projects from Code for Japan. We needed to get to know the local government officials, and we wanted to involve the commercial companies because they have much resources to help our communities and the government. And due to the Japanese labor liquidity is really low, many government officials have no experience of working in private companies. So it led them to have a strongly, strongly silo, uh, silo mentality. So we had to break walls between government, citizens, and corporations. So how to do that? Our strategy to break the wall is this, working together. If the government employees or uh, 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 local code for members or uh, uh, works with, uh, 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 sorry, the, if the corporate employees uh, or uh, local code for members works with officials, government officials uh, inside the city hall, they will be connected to the, uh, each other's in person. Uh, such personal network will break walls between silos, right? So we call the program uh, Local Field Labs. We asked companies to send their employees 
to to local government office, and they will work as a part-time government officials, one or two days per week, in three months. So through that uh, through that program, uh, this is a rough timeline. Uh, we uh, invite the uh, uh, sorry that uh, we uh, so, uh, we invite the government, uh, and the government issues their uh, theme of their uh, co-working, and we build team with uh, corporate uh, employees, and through they uh, they will do uh, research and make some prototypes uh, and get f uh, feedback from that prototype, and we uh, learn again and through uh, in two or three times, and at the final uh, they will make some report and and uh, they uh, will, will report to the. So, for example, mayors, and also uh, Code for Japan has a public event, but about uh, they uh, telling that uh, lessons learned and uh, prototypes. So often I am asked uh, from the people uh, that why corporations uh, will send their employees to Code for Japan uh, to local government. They even pay for uh, Code for Japan to facilitate that. So that because uh, open innovation is a hot topic in the uh, big company in Japan. They are uh, also uh, struggling, struggling to uh, make some new things, uh, start from zero, uh, to collaborate, uh, avoid collaborating with other uh, organizations uh, like uh, uh, community or uh, Japanese government. So we uh, gave them a, a, a field to try to think, start new things. So uh, they, they, uh, the employee, uh, we call them fellow, uh, fellow uh, experience can experience of the uh, co completely different culture. Um, and also they can learn uh, student-centered approach with local communities like us, and they get insights from the real issues not from tech. And also uh, they can try on-site prototyping and testing. This experience will uh, really work for the uh, uh, company uh, employees as well. Okay, so I believe that kind of individual relationships breaks the uh, organ organizational barriers. Uh, once you work with, on, as a government official, you can understand mechanics of the government, and often you realize that, oh, a uh, human is inside the government. So if, uh, at least I can talk. So uh, also, the, if the government officials, uh, fellows, and the citizens are building prototypes together, it also makes government officials open and innovative. We sent uh, 18 fellows uh, from eight com companies uh, on into 12 cities last year. The city size is uh, uh, different. One is big, the uh, other is a really small town. Uh, and also company size is uh, different. Uh, the big company like Fujitsu uh, uh, sent their employees and also startups also uh, sent the employees to uh, local government. So th this is an example of the themes uh, they are trying to. Uh, so one is a research of new public transportation by cooperation with locals, like uh, sharing cars, like, uh, like that, and helping disabled people by using open data or building a community site for the uh, voluntary the uh, funds of the city or improving working styles using ICT or uh, something. Uh, yes, so this is a uh, uh, field, uh, local field labs, and let me show uh, as a, another example. Uh, it is called Data Academy. So we faced this kind of negative feedback loops in many uh, many times in for in terms of uh, facilitating the uh, open data in the government. So they have no idea how to use the data and it makes the uh, and also they have no time to make data 
uh, they are so busy. So, and data is, if data is not accumulated, they, have, uh, they cannot gain new knowledge. And uh, they have no knowledge, so they cannot challenge. And uh, no challenge uh, makes no learning. So, nothing happened. But we want to try change this loop to positive one. So, through Data Academy, we think with officials, they, why, why they need to use data? What kind of their problem would, would be solved by data? Or how they can improve their works with data? And also try to solve their problem together. If they understand it, they can make some guideline or new rules, uh, and also uh, or platform. Maybe uh, they can uh, the, sorry that they uh, can make platform to use data more uh, sophisticatedly, and s such kind of uh, through that such kind of challenges, uh, they can find some use cases, uh, create some use cases, and uh, uh, so that kind of uh, challenges and the successful cases uh, influence other uh, officials. So the positive loop will start. That's what, uh, that's what uh, Data Academy is aiming to. So data academy workflow is like this. We uh, invite the government officials to observe and uh, observe and uh, observe their work together. Uh, how, uh, what kind of uh, issues they have, or uh, how we can improve that uh, their workflow, and and create hypotheses to, together. And they also think uh, what the hypothesis of the uh, uh, of the uh, their their uh, in 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 terms of their work, and uh, uh, we define the the targeted data. If the uh, what kind of data would be used for uh, for the uh, for improving their data, uh, sorry, improving their work or uh, support their hypothesis. So, and also define how can I analyze that uh, hypothesis and ask them to bring the data or make data uh, at the next time, uh, next time of the uh, workshops and they, they bring that data and we also try to use that using the, uh, for example, GIS or Excel or, or some kind of uh, uh, business intelligence tools. And we evaluate that. And uh, they finally uh, adapt that uh, inspiration to their policy. And maybe they define new KPI. Uh, so we had a, uh, usually we have four sessions at the, the one, uh, one workshops. So th uh, in, in this is uh, in uh, two or three months. Yeah, so our academy is not uh, fixed lectures. Uh, each series has each systems and rules. And we use the tools uh, which can be used in the city as a usual work. We don't offer a new uh, fancy, difficult to use uh, system, just use their uh, existing tools. And sometimes Excel is enough to achieve their goal. So this is an example of, uh, from ASEA city. That they wanted to increase the number of people who goes to the cancer screening uh, because social security cost has been increasing uh, in, in the cities. So they wanted to uh, make sure that people uh, get health, uh, better health before uh, getting cancers. So they created many hypotheses uh, and they used, uh, and, and during the session, they used the uh, uh, Excel and the QGIS to investigate the uh, situation. Uh, at the end, uh, some of the hypotheses were supported by their data, but the, they found some, some of them were not correct. So they, uh, they 
made, uh, they can, uh, they are able to make uh, uh, more better policy before building that. We, 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 they could uh, investigate before making that. Last year, uh, we had an uh, academy uh, for the uh, 11 local governments, and it, uh, 1,080 attendees were atten uh, uh, learned about this kind of uh, technology usage, uh, data usage. Uh, this, this year, we have not a uh, number of attendees yet, but uh, we, we are planning to uh, have these workshops for the uh, 39 local government. Uh, this project was funded uh, by the uh, national government. And also we, uh, some of the cities uh, 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 trying to make, allocate the budget for the uh, uh, data academy. So the most important things uh, is the, to motivate people to use data. Uh, and we shouldn't start from data. Uh, we always start from issues that the officials have. That's really important. So otherwise, they will uh, make some uh, guard, and uh, it, it cannot. Uh, the data was not uh, used well. So again, let me emphasize this phrase. The, you, you should start from people, not from tech. This is most important lessons learned from past activities. First, we try, uh, Code of Japan tried to uh, convince them you should use data, you should open up your data because it's uh, correct things, it's right things. So, but they don't want to do that. But uh, during this uh, series of workshops, we knew that their motivation and their, uh, uh, their uh, uh, actual uh, problem we can help. So it's really important. It was really important. I'm, yeah, that's all. I am very happy to share my story with you. Uh, we, uh, uh, the network of the people who think together and create together. And Please come to Japan uh, if you have time. Uh, we should collaborate more in future. Uh, so let's make, uh, uh, let's create, uh, let's think together and create something great uh, together. Thank you for listening. <笑>我想說我們未來說大家怎麼合作因為我們現在台北市在推智慧城市大家講智慧城市是手段不是我們的目的我們真的目的還是要一句永續所以在一句永續的過程裡面一定很多事可以合作現在我們本來就跟日本